Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how to send a web hook request. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the shortcut and the first thing it's the URL. So you want to grab the URL in the page. The second thing you want to grab the dictionary and in the dictionary you want to have key value pairs, two of them. One's a message as a key and then value as high or whatever you want. And then the second one is I saved it as webhook URL. You can save it as whatever. And then I'm using this variable URL that is that comes from here. And then I have the URL again to make sure that the value is not a string. It's to make sure that it's a URL. To do that, I, can, I select the URL in the third step and then I click the variable. It would ask me what variable you want to use i will use the variable in the second step is it dictionary it selects right here and then on the bottom one right here i will enter what key i am looking for so this key webhook url comes from right here and in the last step i will select get contents of the web page and then up of the web page i will select the url on the third step after I enter the URL, my method, the first one, it's usually set to default as get, and then you want to change that to post. And then the second one, the headers. Headers is where you can mention what content type do you want. Do you want an image? Do you want a JSON? So right here, I'm asking for JSON. Uh, we don't really use to we don't really need to send uh, Sorry receive the response. So we are just sending it as that and Then what I am doing right here. It's I'm sending the content in The request body as the message in the second step that was right here and then soon as you click the run your request will be sent let me know if you guys have more questions, guys. Thank you.